probably am. I guess I'm on. You know, hi, hey, welcome to Tabletop Baseball. Uh, I'm Earl Shamblin, and we are going to play some Greg Maddox Game 5 replay. It's uh, Stratomatic 1992. That's what I'm doing here. It's the basic Strat version. Uh, we're on, like I said, Game 5 is the, versus, the, uh, versus the Cincinnati Reds. I'm back from vacation. Hello. Thank you for uh, being patient and let me have a week off and, you know, spend some time with the family instead of in here, you know, doing this thing. Uh, it was a good time. Had a great time. I will uh, maybe talk about it after the game. Uh, we'll see. Ken Castro's here. Thanks, Ken, for joining me. Um, so let's get this thing started. Let me flip this around here. And as you can see, I didn't get my Cincinnati Red marker out. I got the Cubs. I need to get the Cincinnati Reds out of here. Max Cornelius is in the house. There it is, right there. Cincinnati Reds. They actually, we'll take a look at what actually happened in this game. I need to get this hung up too, so it's out of my way. I'm a little discombobulated, you know, but that happens. So the actual game, Cincinnati shut them out, four zip. Maddox went five innings, six hits, three earned runs, no walks, two strikeouts, and one home run. That was to, that was to, um, I want to say Oliver hit it. No, it was Dor Doran. 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 I think it was Doran that hit it. Let's look at the lineups for the Chicago Cubs. Sean Dunstan will lead off, play shortstop. Sammy Sosa in center. Mark Grace at first. Ryan Sandberg at second. Andre Dawson in right. Hector Villanueva, he'll be catching. Luis Salazar, third. Jerome Walton in left. Greg Maddox, batting ninth. The Cincinnati Reds, they went this way. They went with Bip Roberts in left. Reggie Sanders in center. Dave Martinez at first. Paul O'Neill in right. Bill Doran in, at the second. Old oh, Chris Sabo, Mr. Goggles, third base, Joe Oliver catching, Freddie Benavides, 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 he'll play short, oh Barry Larkin today, I guess either he got the day off or maybe he was dinged up, probably got the day off, and Greg Swindell is on the mound for the Cincinnati Reds as we play some basic Stratomatic. Sometimes simpler is better. I kind of enjoy basic strat every once in a while. Nothing wrong with it. And so far, Maddox is three and one. He was three and two after this game in real life. So I think everything's holding pretty true to form so far. Let me get my D20 because I'm rolling that at the same time in basic. So Sean Dunstan to lead it off versus Greg Swindell, a 3-9. Three, 3-9 nine. Three, nine and a 20 is a single. Sean Dunstan leads off with a single. A D stealer. Let's hit away for now. And it's a 2-5. For Sammy Sosa, he's going to strike out. Not playing with injuries. Unless he's injured in real life. <clears throat> There's Mark Grace. Good try hit and run. Let's hit away though. One, nine. We got that one column, but he found about the only thing you can't get besides a two and a three and a 12 is a nine. It's going to be a double play. Round ball A. 
Uh, second base, four six three. Mark Grace hits into the double play. So nothing doing for the Cubs. Here's Bip Roberts, the speedster. Three 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 three. Ground ball to third. Salazar makes the play there. One out. Reggie Sanders, twelve home runs in ninety two. Six six. It's going to be off Maddox. 6'6 six, six is a fly ball to center. Two away. Here's Dave Martinez. 6'9. Uh, and he's going to fly out to right. So three up, three down go the Reds. Top of the second. No score. Ryan Sandberg. 311, he'll ground out to second. The Hawk, Andre Dawson. 3 5. 3 5 could be a home run. 3 5. 1 to 18 is a home run. It is an 8. Andre Dawson with a solo home run puts the Cubs up. 1 0. And that's already more runs than they had in the actual game. Hector Villanueva, 1-5, struck him out. Two down. Luis Salazar, third base. 4-6, it's going to be off Swindell. 4-6, lines out to third, inning over. Cubbies get on the board first, one nothing. There's Paul O'Neill. 3-6. And he'll line it out. Hits one hard to Grace at first. Who handles it cleanly. One away. Here's Bill Doran. 3-3. Three, three. He'll ground out to Salazar at third. Quickly two away. Here's Chris Sabo. 244 in 1992. 4-7. That's off Maddox. 1 to 14 is a single. It's a 2. So a single for Chris Sabo. First hit, first base runner for the Reds. Two outs. Joe Oliver. And it's a 4 11. Round ball to first X. That is Grace. He's a 1. Should make the play. A 12. I <laughs> got that 12. It's a one base error. Runners advance one base. Error on Mark Grace. Moves Sabo to second. We have first and second with two down. Benavides. Freddy. 5-3. 5-3. Five, three, five, fly ball to left, X. The left fielder is Jerome Walton. He is a three. Let's flip it over to the outfield side. 20, could be a roll again. It is. 18, let's try it again. 20, roll again. <laughs> Three. There we go. Three and a three. He makes the play for the third out. So it's a fly out to left. And the Reds leave a couple stranded. Top of three. One nothing Cubs. And here is Jerome Walton who made that outstanding catch. Five seven. Swindell. Three on the D25, seven. One to nine is a double. So Jerome Walton doubles to lead off the third. Now that's going to bring up Maddox. Could try to bunt. I think we're going to hit away, though. It's a 4 7. Second base X. That's Doran. He's a three. Three and a nine. He will make the play, and it's a runner. In, uh, the runners advance one base. So Maddox hits the ball to the right side, gets Walton over. 
And there's one out. There's Sean Dunstan. 3-3. Uh, 3-3 three, three. Three, three is a single one-star. One-star single. Doesn't matter because Jerome Walton was on third and he will score easily. 2 nothing Cubs. There's Sammy Sosa struck out his first time up. 1-9. He's going to strike out again. And that's two away with Dunstan at first. He's a D-stealer. <laughs> um, D-stealer, and we have Oliver, the catcher. He's a three. That's a minus two. Well, a D-stealer is a one to nine, so that's going to be a one to seven. I think we'll let Gracie see what he can do. With two outs here, six, seven, and it's a nine on the D20. That'll be a 13, so a one to 13 is a single one star. Mark Gray singles, Dunstan to second with two outs. See if they can get a two out rally going here. Ryan Sandberg, 26 home runs, 92. It's a 510. Catcher's card X. That's Oliver. He's a three. A three and a three on the catcher's card is a pop out. So Sandberg, they get him to pop it up to Oliver. And that ends the inning. They score a run, though. Two to nothing, Cubs. Bottom of the third, Larry Harris is here. Good evening, Larry. I know you've been here a while. I just... I don't know. Just didn't say anything, but not until now. 1-7. For Greg, Greg Swindell, is going to be a strikeout. And that is the first strikeout for Maddox. He only had two in the actual game. Here's Bip Roberts. A 1-9, so it's going to be off Roberts, but it's going to be a ground ball to second. Out number two, here's Reggie Sanders. 5-7, off Maddox, struck him out. Strike out number two. Top of the fourth, 2 nothing Cubs. D. Scott Howard is here. Hello, D. Scott. 4-11 for Andre Dawson. Fly ball to left field X. And that's Roberts. He's a three. Three and a one. He will make the play. Bip Roberts on the fly makes the catch. One away, uh, Hector Villanueva. Six, seven. And it's a four on the D20, so it's going to be a single for the catcher, Hector Villanueva. One out single. He's not going to steal. Luis Salazar. Um, he's going to hit away. One, nine, one, eight. One, eight. Ground ball to short A. That's going to be a double play. Six. 4-3. Second double play for the Reds. Bottom of the fourth, it's still 2-0 Cubs. Dave Martinez, 6-11. Round ball back to Maddox. Handled cleanly, one away. Paul O'Neill, one of my favorite players. 2-5. 2-5, walk. He draws the walk. So one out, one on. C Steeler. One to eleven, and you've got Villain a wave as a four. So make him a 50-50 shot. One to ten. Let's see. Dorans, two thirty-five hitter. Let's, let's take a 50-50 shot here, see if he can make it. Paul O'Neill trying to steal, and he missed, does not make it. He uh, gets thrown out, and it's going to be a 2-6. So, two away. Bummer. Here's Bill Doran, 
And it's a 4-5. Tried to catch old Maddox off guard. Couldn't do it. 4-5 for Doran. And what do you know, 15 is a double. No, it's a single, sorry. 4-5 and a 15. Single two stars. Well, if he would have made it, would have been an RBI double, or single for Doran. There's Chris Sabo. Two, nine, home run. Boom. Two, nine. That's just a flat out home run. That is a two run shot, ties it up. Sabo's two for two. A lot of people like Chris Sabo. He's a big fan favorite. Ties it up. Only at 12 on the year. But that was a no doubter. And the little two out rally, of course, Paul O'Neill getting thrown out hurt, but you never know. Take chances. 1 9. Single for Joe Oliver. Maybe that's what they needed. So two outs, still, and Freddie Benavides. Benavides. 5-3. Fly ball 5-3 is a fly ball to left field X. Left fielder Jerome Walton's a 3. Can he get to it? A 16. 3 and a 16. He does make the play. Fly out to left. Second time for Benavides. Reds tie it up. 2-2. Two -two. Top of the fifth. Jerome Walton. 8-9-1 for the Cubs. It's a 1-9. Struck him out. Greg Swindell. Had 138 strikeouts in 213 innings. So, not a big strikeout guy. 3-8. For Maddox, he'll ground out to third. Chris Sabo. <clears throat> Two away, Sean Dunstan. Hey, Tribe Fan. Tribe Fan is here. 311. Two out single for Sean Dunstan. And he is three for three. Three singles. Now they get, see if they can get a two-hour rally going. He's not going to steal for Sammy Sosa. Only hit eight home runs, pre-steroids, 4-9, 4-9, shortstop X. And that's Benavides instead of Larkin. He is a three. Three and a three, shortstop. Three and a three, single runners advance one base. Sosa squeaks one through the infield. Benavides cannot get to it. And here's Mark Grace. One for two, hitting to a double play. And it's a 3-3. Three, three. And he's going to ground it out to first to end the inning. So Gracie hit one hard, but good play by... Martinez. Now, uh, who passed away? To the man, the Reds traded to the Astros to get Joey Morgan. Oh, Lee May. Lee May passed away. Hmm. 71. That's too young. Too young. Here's Greg Swindell. He's going to lead off. That's a 2-7. And he's going to strike out. Another strikeout from Maddox. Number three. Two of them to the pitcher. Bip Roberts. 4-5. Four, 4-5. Five. Four, five. And a 14. 4-5 four, and a 14 is a single. Single for Bip. Bip the blip. And he is a double A stealer. 1 to 17. It's a 1 to 16 when you factor in Villanueva. He's going to try to steal. 
and he makes it. Stolen base for Bip. Here is Reggie with Bip at second now. It's a 4 5. There's that 4 5 again. And a 12. Single two stars. That's going to score Bip easily. RBI for Reggie. 3 to 2 now. Reds come back and take the lead. Let's see what Reggie's got going. Here's a B. One out, B Steeler. It's gonna make him a one to twelve. Let's give it a shot. One to twelve. They're gonna run on Villanueva. They're gonna make it. Reggie's gonna make it. Stolen base. So Martinez now. Reggie at second. Five four. Round ball to third X. Salazar. He's a four. Four and a 17, could be trouble. Out with no runners on base, but there are runners on base, so it's a four. There's a runner at second. No runners at force, runners hold, okay? No runners at force, so. With one or more runners force, better save. No runners are force, runners hold. So he is out. If no runners are forced, runners hold. Runners forced. Batter is safe. So it's a ground out to third and Sanders holds. I don't know why I'm making that more difficult than it is. Two away. Didn't Bip Roberts play for the Padres also? 512. Paul O'Neill flies out to right. Seems like I'm remembering playing for the Padres. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Three to two Reds. Top of the sixth inning we go. Rhino Sandberg. 4-11. Off Swindell. 4-11. Fly ball to left field X. Roberts. A three. And a four. Safe on at second on error. So two base error. Three and a four. Roberts fumbles it. It's an E7. Rhino ends up at second. Nobody out. So the Cubs can come back, try to get that run back. 6-7. Six, 6-7 seven. Six, seven and a 10. Single one star. Single one star. Sandberg moves to third. It's first and third with nobody out. Dawson's a C stealer. Put him about 50 50 shot. We're not going to, we're just going to hit away. 5 5. Villanueva struck him out. Second strikeout for Villanueva. One out. Luis Salazar. Two six. Uh oh, two six and a four is a single two stars. Two six and a four single two stars. So Dawson moves to third. Sandberg scores. And it's back tied up. Three three. Back and forth ball game. Brings up Jerome Walton. It's a four seven off Swindell, second base X. That's Doran. He is a three. Nineteen. Three and nineteen roll again. Three and a sixteen. Okay, so it's an out. Runners advance one base. 
Oh, uh, no runners. No runners of forest runners. Hold. Uh, actually, Salazar is forced. So it is a... It's a filler's choice. And it is a four, six here. Run scores, though. They tried to turn two, get out of the inning, but they couldn't. So Walton's at first with two down. And Greg Maddox, the batter. 6-6, six, six. single for Maddox, single no stars. Rick Swindell must be getting tired here. Jerome Walton will go to second for sure. And 1-14, to 14. they'll try to move him to third. He will go to third. Actually, I think he probably gets two for two outs. So I can make him a 1-16, to 16, but he didn't need it. Uh, let's see here. The Reds might need to go to the bullpen as the order, back to the top of the order here. There's two outs, first and third. Um, <clears throat> I was kind of banking on Swindell to go a little farther. As in the actual game, it was Swindell and Dibble that did the job. Tim Belcher's not going to be leaving. Dwayne Henry. Norm Charlton. Let's see. What was... How many saves? Let's go... Let's go Norm Charlton. Dibble be... He's more of a closer. I think they both kind of closed, but... It's going to be Norm Charlton. Coming in. Sean Dunstan, first and third, two outs, two runs in. One error on the Reds, 5-7. Struck him out. Charlton comes in, shuts the door. Cubs get two, though. Four to three Cubs. Now, can Greg Maddox hang on? Bill Doran leading off here. 2-8. Two 2-8 eight. Two eight lines out to first. Chris Sabo, 2-for-2, two two, singled and homered. And it's a 6-6. Six, six. It's going to be off Maddox. Fly out to center. For two away, Joe Oliver. Are you serious? Don't be telling me that. 110, double for Joe Oliver. Two out double. Lou Croy went to the Rockies. <sighs> Larry Harris, are you serious? Are you making stuff up trying to get me riled up? 5-4. Five, 5-4, four. Five, four. ground ball to third. Salazar again. He is a four. Four and a 12. Oh, that's a stupid 12. Out with no runners on base. Four. Well, he makes the play because... No runners are forced. If no runners are forced, runners hold. So he makes the play, 5-3. That's the way I'm reading that. That's just kind of weird to me. Bip Roberts traded for... Oh, okay. He will go to Colorado, but would not go to Cleveland. Hmm. I guess it's going to be Robinson Chirinos now. 
He's not too bad. I, I kind of like Chirinos. So that's that's all for the Reds in the sixth. And Norm Charlton will come back out. Sammy Sosa. 5-12 off Charlton will be a ground ball to second. One out. Here's Mark Grace. And it's a 5-5. Five, 5-5. Five. Five, five. Struck him out. Two away. Ryan Sandberg. 1-7. Struck him out. Norm Charlton. Three strikeouts. Struck out three of the four batters he's faced. That's going to bring up the pitcher spot, Norm Charlton. He is not going to bat. We might just let Barry Larkin bat. He had, thought he was getting the day off. He's not. I'll put it down here. Barry Larkin will pinch hit. And it's a 2 8. Round ball to third. Salazar will handle this one cleanly. So one away is Bip Roberts. 3 10. Uh oh, 3 10 is a walk. You know what that means. He's going to go for second. That's what that means. Again, 1 to 16. Stolen base. Number two for Bip. Brings up Reggie Sanders with one out. Bip at second. 4 10. It's off Maddox. Pops it up. Popped him up. Sandberg makes the play. Two away. And here's Dave Martinez. 4-8. 4-8. Is a walk. Puts Dave Martinez on with two outs. Here's Paul O'Neill. Tough matchup. Well, he only had 246. 246 and 92. 2-7. Ah, he draws a walk. 2-7. Bases loaded. Tough call here. With two outs, bases loaded. Bill Doran, what he hit? 235. I like my chances. 110, it's off his card, but he's going to fly out to left. Whew, flies out to left, and that ends the inning. Reds leave them loaded. Chris Sabo was up next. Might have had to go into the bullpen. Speaking of which, the Reds will go to the bullpen. They will go to Rob Dibble. Norm Charlton did a fine job. Faced four batters, struck out three. 6-4 off Dibble. Center field X. Tough play for Sanders. Can he get to it? It's a 1. He's a 3. He makes the play. Andre Dawson flies out to Reggie. 1 away. Hector Villanueva. And it's a 5-8. Five 5-8. Eight. Five eight. Struck him out. Hector's had a tough day. Three Ks. He did single. Salazar, 3-4. It's going to be off Salazar's card. It's going to be a ground ball to short, though. Inning over. Bottom of the eighth inning. Maddox hanging tough. This might be his last inning. It's Chris Sabo, 1-7. Rounds out to Salazar. Joe Oliver, he homered. He singled and homered. No, that's uh, Sabo. Sorry. Oliver is singled and doubled. 
That's a 6-6. Six, six. Flies out to center. Two away. Benavides. 310. He'll ground out to Salazar. Ninth inning. Dibble. Coming back out. He's a two inning guy. Jerome Walton. And it's a 6-6. Six, six. Strikeout. Now here's Maddox. We'll let him go. Clinging to that one run lead. I don't know. Let's 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 think about it here. Let's look. Let's let's try to be a little more realistic here. Maybe Chico Walker. I like Doug Desenzo. Got about 45 cards I got to look through here. Um, of course, that's another thing. I'm not sure who all was on the roster at this point. Let's go, Chico Walker. Let's let's bring him in. So the bullpen working for the Cubs. As Maddox Day is down, here's Chico Walker. 111 single. 111 single for Chico. A Steeler. So 1 to 15, and then you got Oliver, who is a minus 2, so 1 to 13. And he will scamper over to second. Stolen base for Chico Walker. He's at second with one out, Sean Dunstan. 1-6. Round ball to third B. So Chico will hold. Two away, Sammy Sosa. 5-11. Off Dibble, first base X. First base X. Martinez is a fork. Not sure if he's got the range to get to it. A six, four and a six, single one, one base advancement for the runners. So it doesn't score a run. But Sosa squeaks one through. I think that's the second one he squeaked through the infield. Here's Mark Grace for some insurance. Six, nine off Dibble, second base X. Doran is a three. 14. Good thing it's not a 12. 3 and a 14. <laughs> 14 is not what you want. It's a one base error. Runners advance one base. Error on Doran. <sighs> E4. That does score a run. And we have runners at first and second with two outs. And Sandberg the batter. That's not on Dibble. 6-8. Let's try 6-8. What is that? 6 on the D20. Single two stars. Scores another run. Grace to third. First and third, two outs still, and Dibble is going to be done. Go Dwayne Henry. Dwayne Henry. Andre Dawson's the batter. First and third. Sandberg, he's a B stealer. 1 to 13, so 1 to 11. We're going to let Dawson try to hit. Roll that again. 3 8. Eight. Single two stars. Scores another run, so the Cubs are not done. They get another one. 
The merry-go-round continues. Sandberg to third. Getting all kinds of insurance here. Doubled up on the Aflac. Two, four. And two, four is a walk for Villanueva. So it continues. Bases loaded now. Two outs. Here's Luis Salazar. Ninth man to bat. 3-9, and he flies out to center to end the inning. Three runs, though. It's going to give the bullpen some cushion. And their bullpen is going to be... Um, let's see. Bob Scanlon. We'll come in. He came in the actual game. He came in, so we'll bring him in. Try to close this thing out in the ninth with a pinch hitter coming up for the Reds. Rick Rona. Who remembers Rick Rona? 174. Hal Morris, 271. Jeff Branson, 296. Darnell Coles. Darnell Coles will pinch hit. Bob Scanlon on the mound, 3-11. Pops it up to third. Back to the top of the order, and old Bip Roberts, the base terror. Two stolen bases in the game. 2-7. He grounds it out to short. So two away down to their final out. Here's Reggie Sanders, 3-9. 3-9 and a 16 on the D20. That is a triple. No, it's a home run. No, 3-9. It's a double. 3-9 and a 16 is a double for Reggie Sanders. Two out double. It is 7-3. Seven to three, so need to string a bunch of them together here. One nine. That's not gonna do it. That's gonna be a fly out to center. And that's the ball game. So Cubs reverse reality. They win the ball game. Seven to three. Trailing at one point, three to two. Started out winning two to nothing, and then it was tied. Then it was Cub Reds ahead three to two. Then Cubs came back, made it four three. Then a three run ninth sealed the deal. That sealed it. Dibble got torn up. He did. So let's check here. Hits for the Cubs: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hits. Fourteen hits. I thought I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, no? Okay, all right, 15. And for the Reds, mm -hmm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight hits. Seven of those off Maddox. Scanlon gave up that double there, so Maddox goes 8. Seven hits, 
three runs. All the runs were earned. Did give up a home run to Sabo. And walks and strikeouts. One, two. And one walk, three and one. Three and two, three and three, four and three. Three strikeouts, four walks. So kind of uncharacteristic there. Not as much control from Maddox in this game, but he gets the win. Gets the W. And he's going to go to four and one through five games. And in actuality, he was three and two through five. As again, the Cubs lost this one four to nothing. But they got the offense going in this one in the ninth inning for sure. So that is going to wrap it up. Wrap this one up. Thank you guys for tuning in. After my uh, little hiatus, appreciate you guys hanging in there, still supporting the channel, supporting uh, Tenacious Earl and his his uh, replays he's got going on, or projects, whatever you want to call it. Get that fan going. So, if uh, has anybody got anything, anything they want to talk about, or thank you, Larry, appreciate that very much. Has anybody been on a cruise before? Let's talk about that. Anybody ever been on a cruise? It was my first one. I went on a cruise. Went to Cozumel and Yucatan, Progreso, Yucatan. And I'm ready to do it again. It was that much fun. I really enjoyed it. You know, I was always hesitant, hesitant to go on a cruise because you kind of get in this in your head, thoughts in your head that it's mainly, you know, 70, 80-year-old people walking around. And that's not the case. I mean, there was a lot of 40, 50-year-old people with families, 30s, 40s, 50s in that age group. Families, lots of kids, a lot of things for kids to do, different age groups. I mean, they had rooms for 15 through 17-year-olds. They had rooms for uh, 12 to 14-year-olds. They had, you know, arcades. They had movies. You name it. I mean, all and you've heard about cruises, you know, how much food there is, and that's, you know, an understatement. It's, I didn't lose any weight, that's for sure. It was, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would not go to Yucatan again. Uh, if you ever go on a cruise, don't go to Yucatan. Cozumel's awesome. We've been there before, so we knew about it, but uh, Yucatan was not pretty. Not, I just wouldn't suggest going there. But uh, it was extremely fun. If you've ever thought about it or want to do it, I highly recommend it. We went on Carnival. I've heard Princess Cruises are the best. Um, but, I mean, I've, I'm ready to do it again. I want to go again. I want to sign up for next year. Um, went on a couple of excursions. We drove uh, dune buggies in Cozumel. And then went snorkeling. And then in uh, Yucatan, we did the same thing. We drove dune buggies, but... After we got off the boat in the Yucatan, we took a bus. The bus took us to through downtown, which was run down, dilapidated. I mean, just slums. You know, that's about the best way to put it. Okay, and so we get there. Then we unload. We follow our guide. We're just walking through the streets of downtown. Who knows where we're going? I, you know, I thought we were going to get the dune buggies. You know, we walk down this side street, and there's this building, run-down, dilapidated building, and behind it, 
there's a fence. We go through the fence, and then and there's all the dune buggies sitting there. And so we we get in, we climb in, we drive through downtown in a line. You know, we're all lined up following the guide and everything and drive for about 30 miles, 30 minutes. took about 30 minutes on paved road the whole way. We never got off road. Well, a little bit, but not not crazy. Um, went to the salt mine, underwater salt mine, which was really cool. Water was pink because plankton, all the plankton that turned the water pink, and there was flamingos everywhere. It was weird. I've never seen wild flamingos. Um, seen them in zoos and everything, but not out in the wild. And um, so we went out, walked out towards the water. There's a little walkway out there. You could walk in you know, in between the the pools or whatever. And uh, the guy takes his shoes and socks off and gets in. He said, now this water, don't get in this water because it will burn you. It's like 130 degrees. It will give you burns. But obviously he was used to it. He got in there and he reached his hands under the water, came up, and he had like this mountain of pure white salt. Just amazing. I mean, we all got to take a little piece of it and taste it. It was really cool. So that was cool. Then we went to the Mayan ruins, saw some Mayan ruins, which, you know, my wife wanted to do that. So we did that. And, uh, but it's basically just, you know, foundations that were there 2000 years ago, three, 300 BC or whatever. And so it was kind of cool, but after a while it's like, you know, okay, I've, I've had enough of this. Let's go to the beach. So we went to the beach, and they had a little buffet there, a little hut with a buffet, but we had to pay for the buffet. In Yucatan, we had to pay for the buffet. And the the Cozumel excursion we did, they had a buffet, and it was included, everything. We drove in the Cozumel, back to the Cozumel um, excursion, and the dune buggies, we drove all the way to the tip of Cozumel, and... There was like this restaurant just out in the middle of nowhere. Well, not in the middle, but like on the edge of the water of the ocean at the tip of Cozumel. It's like all of a sudden there's this restaurant and, and uh, they had a buffet there. But you could get in the beach if the if the waves weren't too bad. And they were that day. They had the red flag up so we couldn't get in the water. But it was cool. And so then we drove back. Um, but the dune buggies were really cool. The Cozumel one was cool because we went snorkeling there. And But the Yucatan was the Mayan ruins and the salt water. And the dune buggies weren't that great. And the, what was I, was I going to say? The, um, the town was nasty. Um, sorry. Uh, but it was, and Cozumel's really cleaned up. So Cozumel was much nicer, um, very clean, very nice. But I would suggest going to Cozumel or, you know, Bahamas or um, St. Martin, whatever, whatever's down there, uh, Virgin Islands, stuff like that. Jamaica, I've heard, is kind of dirty also. Don't know if I'd go there, but... Um, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's there's a comedy club on that boat, and you name it. I mean, there's a casino if you're into gambling. Um, even if you just like to watch people gamble, it's pretty fun. Uh, bingo, outdoor movies. You can sit on the deck, watch a movie. Um, it's kind of cool because at night, you know, you can't really see anything out in the ocean. Um it is nice to get out on a vacation, yeah. Um, we try to do it every year. Something we save up for, you know. It's not we're not floating with money. My my in laws kind of got us a deal on the deal, on the vacation. So it wasn't a, you know, it's not like we're just floating with money. So don't get that in your head. Don't get that started because <laughs> that's not the case. But. You know, really, cruises, you know, everything's included. And you don't have to do excursions. You can just, you know, you can just get off the boat, walk around town, because they're going to drop you off 
right around town and you can go shop and go to restaurants and whatever you want to do you don't have to do an excursion those are expensive those kind of that's where the money gets expensive is excursions but you know once you've paid for your cruise you've paid for everything you can get on there and you can eat 24 7 and there's ice cream dispensers those soft serve ice cream dispensers you can grab you a cone right there or a cup and 24 7 you can get you ice cream all around the the promenade deck they're all over soft serve ice cream is you serve yourself 24 7 you want to get up in the middle of the night and go get an ice cream cone go do it so it's really cool that that's i mean the food was was amazing it was really good they have some nice dining areas also some fancy restaurants in there if you want to go there that's all included you know now some restaurants you go to well those two fancy restaurants if you go to them um there are some things on the menu that may cost extra like prime rib or lobster or whatever but you know there's plenty of good things there's still steak and stuff on there that you can get you know uh, without paying extra oh there's still plenty of good stuff on there without paying extra now obviously alcohol is extra um that's what i was looking for um but we didn't do any alcohol so no big deal there but and uh, pop drinks if you want unlimited pop drinks you can buy a little wristband get you unlimited pop um i'm sure you guys have heard all about that stuff but it is it is really fun i would I highly recommend it it's a good vacation um we did just a five day or so there was only two stops just um cozumel and yucatan progresso yucatan that was it but fun times fun times um so if there's any, if any good buddy has anything they want to talk about on anything, baseball, did so did uh, Larry, you said LaCroix went to the Rockies. Is that, are you serious about that? Are you serious about that? I'm going to have to look that up. Right when I get off here, I'm going to have to look that up. He did. What'd they get? What'd the Rangers get? Anything? That probably would have come up on my phone, but my phone's right here. I'm sure it would have because I get all the Rangers updates. Oh, you didn't read the whole thing? Well, I will look it up. He's not having a real good year. Um, so they probably felt like, well, he's kind of expendable. They need some pitching help badly before they get too far behind. They cannot seem to beat the Orioles. Beltre got his 3,000th hit. That was cool. I'm going to have to get my Adrian Beltre rookie cards autograph or uh, – graded i might have to get them graded put them in an auction or something i've got like three of them one of them's kind of faded out though it's got ryan minor on it and it's got beltre minor and somebody else wilton guerrero is it wilton guerrero player to be named later Hmm. Player to be named later. That's always interesting. I guess they wanted to get rid of his salary. Because I think they paid him a lot of money. After last year, he had a great year last year. I think they ended up having to pay him a bunch of money to get him to stick around oh well we'll see what happens 
I'm off this week too, so there'll be some stuff during the daytime. I'll be having some stuff during the day. I might do an ABBA game tomorrow. I've got one in mind that I want to do. I'm having a little ABBA withdrawals. I'm having complete withdrawals, really. Um, he should hit well at Coors, yeah. I mean, just about everybody should hit well there, but you got to you got to work. Maybe you can watch at lunchtime. I'll be on at some point during the day tomorrow. Probably a few games. I'll probably do a few games. Probably a pine tar, and I'm thinking about doing an ABBA game. I've got one in mind, like I said. Probably do one of those. So, hopefully you guys can catch that. If not, no big deal. You can catch it whenever you can catch it. So, I think I'll call it a night now, too. I've been used to staying up late and getting up late and eating too much. Now I'm constantly hungry. I'm like, we don't have any food in this house because we've been on vacation for a week. So we had to go out to eat. Darn it. See you later, Larry. Appreciate you joining in, as always. I'm going to get out of here, too. Ken Castro, thank you for sticking around and listening to me blabber about my vacation. Max Cornelius, Tribe fan. Uh, let's see. D. Scott Howard. Hopefully, you guys, if you haven't been on a cruise, you will. Wings? No. Taco Bueno. I don't know if you guys have that up there, but uh, we do. That's what we had. So, thank you, Max and Ken and everybody. And I'm not a big wings eater. I'm not a big wings eater. It's kind of a lot of work for nothing. It's kind of like eating crab legs to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love that place. We do like Taco Bueno. Yeah. Do you guys have it up there? You got Taco Bell, probably. I don't know about Bueno. What do you do? You have it? I'm sure you got Taco Bell. Like none. Not even Taco Bell? Not even Taco Bell. Wow, what about um, Taco Cabana? You got that? Or what kind of fast food Mexican do you have? Do you have any fast food Mexican? I don't know what else there is. What else is there? Like as far as big chain... Big chain Mexican restaurants. Oh, you have Taco Bell. Okay. That's what I figured. No cabana. That's kind of a Texas thing, I think. I think cabana is just in Texas mainly. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up. Hour and four minutes. Whew. All right, yeah, we got to go. Thanks again, you guys. I will catch you again tomorrow. Till then, take care and God bless.